I'll show you how to extract the temperature along a line. It's a two-step process. You need to create the line, and then you need to extract the temperature along that line. I'll go back to mechanical, and uh, incidentally, if you want to delete that label, so just select that option, select the label, and delete. And I will draw a line along the center of the model at y equal to 1. So I'll go to uh, Model and select Construction Geometry. And then I'll select the Path option under Construction Geometry. I'll rename the path. I'll call it y equal to 1. And you can see right now the path starts and ends at the origin. So I will say I want it to start at x equal to 0, y equal to 1 and x equal to 1 and y equal to 1. So it shows me the start and the end. And the number of sampling points, I've played around with this. If I used 49, so that's the number of sampling points in between those two points. So the total number of sampling points is those 49 plus the two points at the end. And that means that each you know, division along that line will be 1 over 50, which is a nicer number than what you would get with the default number of sampling points. Now that I have my line, I can extract the temperature along that line. So I'll highlight solution in the tree and say thermal temperature. And I'll rename this. I'll call it temperature along y equals 1. And scoping, instead of geometry, which is what we did before, I'm going to say path. And select the, the line that we just drew. It answers calls it a path. And then say evaluate all results. That shows me that, you know, here it's that line is colored by the corresponding value of temperature. So it goes from, you know, this value. Point three, around 0.35 to 0.09. And if I look, and it also gives me a graph. Um, and this slope has to be 0 because that's an insulated boundary. That's dt dx. Um, the, the slope is uh, dt dx. And since it's a natural boundary condition, it won't satisfy exactly, but it looks like it's pretty good. Um, and you can see here the temperature is, is quite a bit lower because of the, the convection that's happening at this boundary. And you can also look at the tabular data, um, and it gives you, you know, the values here. You can say, right-click and say Select All and Copy Cell, and you can copy this into Excel. Or you can just say Export. And either text, I tend to do Excel, and you can put it in, in a suitable place, you know, on the desktop or wherever, and get that data into Excel for, for further plotting. And this is how, you know, for instance, one can have a nice plot where one compares the, the temperature along the line between ANSYS and the, the analytical result.